Welcome to Creative Pages with Catherine. I'm Catherine, and it's time for the November Thrift Flip Road Trip, hosted by Sammy at Unicorn Dust Designs, Kay and Trish, the Crafting Cousins, and our special guest host, Tammy at Happiness Created this month. I'm Catherine, and I am an independent advisor with Creative Memories. I usually do scrapbooking and card making on my channel, but participating in something like the Thrift Flip Road Trip lets me get creative. And one thing I saw a lot earlier this summer was the Busted Canvas Project. I don't know if you all have seen that. If you haven't, you might want to Google it, but that's essentially what I am going to be basing my project on today. I kind of like being able to be a little extra crafty using some of my scrapbooking papers and supplies. And I like paper crafting from time to time too. You can see a couple of them on my wall behind me. And we're actually going to pull out the glue gun this time. So let's get to it. I am super excited to share with you all this particular project. I'm going to be using our Christmas charm collection that came out just a month or so ago. This is what the paper pack for it looks like. I have picked the Christmas tree page that you will need two sheets of because we're going to use both sides of the paper. So all of our papers are double sided and you will need both sides of the page with the Christmas tree on it. And the red stars is going to be the essentially the background of our canvas. So those three sheets. And then when I went to my thrift store in Washington state, which is where we were before we moved to where we're currently at in Pennsylvania, I found this really interesting, metal wreath holder is what I thought I'm actually going to turn it into a busted canvas wreath Christmas wreath is what we're going to be making I kept the price sticker from it you can see it says metal decor $1.99 and I got it for half off that day so for 99 cents I had this really cool wreath form to use and it looks like there's a front side and a back side on it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then I also pulled out my Jumbo Circle from Creative Memories, our custom cutting system. Every time you purchase one of our cutting system pieces, you get one of these that helps you figure out which blades you need to use with your actual custom cutting system pieces. So I got, went through and I did some measurements. You can see our wreath is just a little bit smaller than our jumbo circle. And we are going to go ahead and get cutting here. First things first, we'll do our red sheet that's going to be the back of our wreath. We're going to use our red blade. Circle down on your paper. You line it up. And we're just going to go ahead and cut our circle for the back of our wreath here. There we go. And then we're also going to need our blue blade as well. Line up at the edge of your paper and let's cut. So the red blade cuts the closest to the circle. The green, we also have a green blade, cuts in kind of in between. And the blue blade, blade is the furthest from the circle. Here we go. So we are going to mark the center of our circle here. Okay, let's get my pencil. And I'm just going to go ahead and mark it on this side here. Because we're going to cut through this anyways. But you know what nice thing about pencil is you can erase it. So we're going to grab back out our jumbo circle. We're going to link our red blade into the outside of our circle. I'm going to be staying about three quarters of an inch in from the edge of my paper with my red blade. The first cut is done. Okay. 
Okay, let's see how I did here. I feel like it didn't go quite as smoothly as it did in my test piece. So, okay, we're actually okay. We're, we can make this work. You can still see where we have our trees and we have our pieces that are gonna go back. I probably shouldn't have cut over those pieces quite so much, but we essentially are gonna be able to still wrap this around our wreath. For our next step, I've pulled out my 12 inch trimmer. We are gonna cut half inch strips from the same piece of paper that we cut our inner circle out of, and we need 18 strips. Okay, so we now have our 18 strips. We are going to connect them with a little bit of tape runner in sets of three, if you will. We're going to link them so they become longer for wrapping around our wreath. I'm just putting a little bit of tape here and connect it over slightly. It's about a quarter of an inch. You know, maybe it's closer to a half. So essentially you are linking them like so, and it's gonna become one really long strip. Last one here. All right, so I have a whole stack of really long strips now that we are going to weave around our wreath frame. I have my pieces ready to go. Welcome to the Thrift Flip Road Trip. Today, we're kicking off an exciting open challenge hosted by Unicorn Dust Designs, Crafting Cousins, and our special guest co-host, Tammy from Happiness Created. Watch as talented creators breathe new life into forgotten treasures, transforming them into something extraordinary. November is Subscriber Appreciation Month, and as a thank you for your amazing support, we're giving away fabulous prizes to nine lucky winners. Here's what you could win. A box of craft supplies from Crafting with Indiana Jones. A deluxe easy bow maker from Buckeye Girls Lifestyle. A Creative Memories card kit from Creative Pages with Catherine. Cordless electric scissors from Crafting Up a Storm with Char. A hobby knife set and self-healing cutting mat from Happiness Created. A brayer set from I'm Merely Melissa a $50 Amazon gift card from DIY with Aria, a $50 Amazon gift card from Crafting Cousins, and a $100 Visa gift card from CJDIY. To enter, watch the November Thrift Flip Road Trip playlist and comment on your favorite project from each creator. Remember, you must leave a comment on every video in the playlist to be eligible to win. Mark your calendar for Saturday, November 23rd, when we'll announce the winners on our community tabs. Due to shipping costs, this giveaway is open to U.S. residents only. Don't miss out on your chance to win. Follow the playlist in the description box below and spread the love. First things first, what we're going to do is we're actually going to adhere our first piece of our paper. Essentially, we're going to fold it just a little bit as we wrap it around our wreath. And we're just going to attach it to one of these little crossbars through the metal part of the wreath. We're in business now. I just got a little bit of glue dot on the end of my paper here. And since we're working at an angle, I'm going to adhere it to our metal piece here. So this is how I'm securing just this end piece of paper. Then what I'm gonna do is wrap it around, kind of following the line of the form, but I'm also folding the paper a little bit as I go. We're going in a bit of a diagonal pattern here, which is why we did the extra strips. Oops. And uh, every I don't know, second or third one, I'm going to add just a little dot of glue up here to the wreath to make sure that my paper will stay put. And that's it. That's going to be our last one. 
So you may not need this extra little piece depending on how you wrap your wreath. But I needed a little bit of extra, one extra piece. And there we go, we'll just cut that off again. Now for our next step, we're gonna bring in our busted paper and our back of our wreath. So the first thing we actually need to do is secure these two to each other. And you can see where this is gonna come through here. So I wonder if we just, let's go ahead and flip over our wreath. We're gonna put our glue on the front of our part that we busted and then we'll stick it to our wreath and then pull our papers through. How's it about that? One is on. So how's about we just put pieces, put dots as we're putting down our other circle here and there. That's pretty good. And then we do want to secure these down as they're coming out. So let's go ahead and we might as well get this one down first here. Let's get a little bit of glue on the end of this. And we're just gonna kind of secure it to the, really kind of the end of the wreath there. And then this one's gonna be a little bit flatter coming through here. All right, let's get a few decorations going. And then I also wanna show you all what can go here. What do y'all think? Now we're almost done. Pulled out some ribbon and I really loved this ribbon I found that I had with the gold with the red stars. I just thought it really matches well with what is on our reindeer and on the stars. But I didn't think it was thick enough on its own. So I found this other ribbon I had and it has a, a little bit of a tinsel effect. I thought why not wrap the starry ribbon around my tinsel ribbon and just give it an extra effect kind of like we wrapped the wreath now we're going to feed this through our wreath you know that the noel is going to be at the top of my wreath the deer are coming through this other side so i think when i hang it i do want it to hang right through here and it looks like there's a nice little gap back here. Let me see if I can actually make a path using my scissors first. We're going to just make a small hole here coming through this part of the paper here. So I'm just taking my scissors and I am essentially punching through the front here with my scissors and kind of making this, this space here a little bit bigger so I can fit my ribbon through to hang my wreath. I just twisted my scissors just a little bit. I am going to push through this ribbon. Here we go. And gently, might as well go ahead and glue this all together and then knot it. Just to kind of add a little extra detail, we know that the bigger star is going to be on the front because that's facing the front of our thing. And the other thing I wanted to show you here, and because, you know, you can definitely hang your wreath as it is like this. With your star at the top there, and this is, I guess I should show you the close-up of how my little knot looks. I have this really cool wreath you can hang in your home, but... Since I'm a Creative Memories advisor, I have to tell you, you can also add one of your five and a half by three and a half photos to the center of the wreath. If you have a Christmas tree photo you want to place in it, this is again three and a half by five and a half now. You can place your photo inside that wreath. You can also add either a four by four photo directly to the center, or you can get two three by four photos and kind of just place them in your wreath layered with each other. It actually would be really pretty with the two photos in it. And you just kind of place it behind where you've ripped your paper or did your actual busted canvas. This is what it looks like hanging on my door just so that way you all can have an idea of what it looks like hanging 
out somewhere. And there's the doorknob. Here's the door. So it's not a super big wreath, but it works. Thank you again to Kay and Trish, the crafting cousins, Sammy at Unicorn Dust Designs, and Tammy at Happiness Created for hosting the Thrift Flip Road Trip. This is a very shortened version of my project. If you would like to see the entire thing, come on over to Creative Pages with Catherine, my channel, and watch the entire project. That's where you can learn all of the details of how I put the whole thing together in just a little bit more of a slower pace. If you like this project, please hit the thumbs up. And thank you so much to my subscribers for returning to my channel over and over to see what I am paper crafting, scrapbooking, or if I'm making a card. Until next time.